All right, guys, that was the break between Warren and uh, Chris Robinson. We just missed the uh, break. We're at the final four. The final four. Uh, no, wait. Final, yeah, final five. Final, final six. Final six. Yep, these are, these are the fifth six matches. Yeah, we got Warren Kiamko and, uh, and Chris Robinson. And that's Robinson the quarterfinals. Right here. Warren Kiamko and Chris Robinson playing against each other on the one loss side. I got to get my numbers straight here. Uh, Chris. I'm having too much fun here. Race the six from the one loss side, Warren and Chris. I'm sitting here with Jack Murray. This is Daniel Bush. Final six. You're watching POV Pool. Please be sure to give us a thumbs up. This is the final four of the Andy Mercer Nine Ball Classic, the 30th annual event here in Las Vegas, Nevada at the Rum Runner Lounge. And thank you for being here again this year. You've done a great job promoting this event over the last few years. But also, when you guys like it, don't forget to share it. And when you share it, make sure you put in the notes uh, it's a free stream. Uh, it is a free stream because uh, Daniel and Geraldine do not charge you for this. So anything that you guys can contribute we do appreciate it, and because you Whoa. get to watch beautiful shots like that. Did you just see that kick shot? Warren just went rail first with perfect speed to get on that five ball, and he is out from here. That was disgusting. Call that, the police yeah. because that's just not fair. Wow. Yep. POV pool on YouTube. That's right, folks. POV pool at YouTube. A lot of people ask me, like, how do I get in touch with you? You know, and I don't even tell them to povpool.com anymore. I just say, go to YouTube. <laughs> that's, that's basically the easiest way. <laughs> no, that was an amazing shot there. Real first, perfect speed. He's out. He's going to be out. You know, it's kind of amazing when you look at this. We uh, Just a regular bar table tournament here where we have the final six players where the lowest Fargo rates around 730 in Chris Robinson. Yeah. You know, I mean, these these are world-class players playing. I'd like um, to remind people about that, too. That's And that's something that you pointed out, that over 17 players had over 700 Fargo rates. It's, rate. it's a mean, magnificent field, and, and it draws it every year. Yeah. Every year, you know, they're, they're, we, well, we, the, the, what's really unique about it, though, is that, uh, you know, usually we all know them as pros. We all know those names, but there are names that we didn't know, you know, like people that we didn't know that were mm -hmm. over 700. It was like, what? What? Yeah. You start looking at it and even the, You're like, who are these people? There are so many I just sub 700s. Yeah. Like look at uh, locally Lance Salazar, great player. 697. 697. King Sante's in the same ballpark. Yeah. You know, you've got yeah. all these players that are in that 680, 670 We have an amazingly rich talent of players, especially on the West Coast. There really are. There's an amazingly rich talent of players. And thanks to Daniel, you get to watch them for free. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, there are a lot of streamers out there in the U.S., and uh, you know I'm not the only one. But uh, I appreciate that. You're not the that, only Jack. one, but you do. But you do put you do put yourself out there to make sure people get to enjoy pool, and that's the best thing out there is uh, pool. If, it, if, if there's anything I would like people to remember is that we 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 were doing this format before anybody really else was. I mean, putting uh, all of our stuff up to YouTube for free mm -hmm. was something that nobody else was doing. Uh, everybody else was trying to cash in. I was just trying to promote pool, and that's that's how it turned out to be that way. Pretty soon, I had 300 matches up on YouTube, 500 matches up on YouTube, and when it became a thousand matches up on YouTube, then people started to follow suit. Everybody else started putting their matches up on YouTube. So, if there's anything I'd like to be remembered for, it's the fact that we were doing it, you know, kind of pioneering that that effort to promote pool. And I don't I don't care that I'm the Biggest, smallest, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's just that if pool wins, 
then we win, you know? Absolutely. And it's like, that's what we want to do. We want, we want this game to flourish, you know? Well, the most important thing that we have is the growth of the game. And the more people we get in, and I've always looked at it, the more eyeballs we can get on the game of pool, the better the game grows. Yes. A nice little bump off the eight there. Yeah, you won't see Warren bumping balls much no. uh, unless he's playing eight ball, which <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever seen Warren play bar box eight ball, but it's it's quite interesting to oh, see. Really? Oh, yeah. So this is, oh, nice breakout. Nice breakout. Look at this. Wow. Oh, well, look at this. He went under that to break it out. Wow. Definitely has an out from here. Warren Kiamko is uh, a true artist at work. A lot of people don't know Warren Kiamko. Another thing that I find amazing about pool is how accessible these players are. You know, it's so hard to talk to Tiger Woods. But oh, right. <laughs> it's not that hard to talk to Warren or Shane or, you know, well, Earl a, Strickland. You know, it's a beautiful <laughs> thing. You come to this. Uh, literally, this is the, – these guys are playing the, this match on a table. I play weekly league every uh, – you know, all the time. Yeah. This is a bar. This isn't This isn't a big pool room. This is a bar. And and they're coming out and they play this because, it one, the owners of the bar have – the owners of the, the rum runner put on an amazing event. Yeah. But they are very accessible, and, mm -hmm. and they're very approachable. They are. They are. Warren Kiamko gets the first game and draws first blood. And he broke serve. Yes, he did. And uh, we've got Vilmos Foldish. He's uh, actually, He's, that's uh, a, it's 1-1. One, 1-1 one 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 against, uh, go ahead. I was just going to say, this match might be a quick one over here because if Edgy gets his groove on and Vilmos is playing, those two are both very, can be quick players. Well, remember, like I said, Edgy, he beat uh, Vilmos out of like 10 grand a few years ago. <laughs> and Vilmos may remember that. Oh, Vilmos, yeah. He might be in Vilmos's head a little bit. Meanwhile, I also want to give uh, 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 kudos to uh, Chris, young Chris Robinson. Chris Robinson, uh, we've been following for over five years on POV Pool since he was around 16 years old. Here he is playing Warren Kiamko, ladies and gentlemen. How's that for living the dream? That is, if you could draw a perfect picture break, that was it. Yes, that's true. He was able to park the cue ball off of that, two ball on the side, the three, four, everything's wide open and accessible. It's two zero, Kiamko. My bad. And just as we said, Vilmos and Edgy were one one. It is now two one, Vilmos. By the way, you know, we're over here paying lip service to these uh, matches here, uh, but uh, these players have so much heart involved. And uh, I, know, I know how badly Chris wants to uh, win this match. Chris Robinson, mm -hmm. the California kid. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, no, Chris, is, Chris is passionate about the game itself. And, you know, yes, advancing in a tournament means more money, but it also playing somebody and beating a player of Warren Kiam Kiamko's esteem is is something that is fantastic for your career. It just, just gives you one more building block in your career moving forward. And, Absolutely. Uh, and, and the one thing I've really appreciated with Chris is how he does give respect to those that went before him. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. No, he's... Uh He's really coming to his coming into his own, and I want to give a shout out to his parents, Jared and uh, Tara. I'm sure they're watching. I'm sure they are. No, they raised a great young man. Edgy down on the ball. He makes whatever he's shooting at. I can't really see from this distance. Uh, 
He's Looks trying. like he's shooting on the three ball. Might might have to do a, a, a tough cut in the side. Pretty pretty crucial uh, game for Edgy. Yeah, the difference between two two and three one is enormous in this format. It is in a race to six. Yeah. By the way, though, uh, Warren seems to be making pretty quick work of this third rack, and uh, the difference between. <laughs> Two zero three zero and two one oh. is not Night and not day. very good too. So Tommy, hey, Tommy, how are you doing? Tommy Di Lorenzo, a mainstay of this tournament. I remember Tommy back in the days in Mesa when uh, he had Tommy's billiards. Tommy's been it was, around. It was a uh, it was a great action room and uh, in Arizona in Mesa. Yes. Yeah. It was Tommy's billiards. Yeah. It was. Uh, I Tommy didn't know you were in Arizona. Tommy and Bob Jackson owned the place uh, back then. Okay. And uh, it was it was a great room. Roger Griffiths was the house pro at the time, and nice. uh, you walked in there, and I was I was a lowly beginning player, just sitting there back in the corner, kind of not wanting to woof at the wrong person. <laughs> okay. Uh, but I enjoyed watching the one pocket matches, the the nine ball matches, and if anybody has ever had the was ever blessed to watch Roger Griffiths play nine ball, that is a beautiful thing to watch. He really? had, he fired the balls in. He there was every pocket said ow. After after Roger's <laughs> shot, there was Roger's Roger would never have an issue with this three point rule. He okay. would never have an issue with yeah, any slow. Right, like Johnny Archer. Yes, exactly. Yeah. You remember the nine ball players of bat of 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 lore? Let's just you know? say Roger Griffiths never had a ball roll off. All right, because okay. when you hit them firm, they don't roll. <laughs> Same with uh, you know other guys like that too, CJ Rodney and CJ you know, Ro CJ Roger. Yeah, they that's always hit the ball. You know, yeah, I think was it Corey that introduced that? Corey, Corey that was short, really the first of the finesse. short break. Yeah, the first first finesse guy, and, and and kudos to Corey because he's a brilliant master of the rack. He knows yeah. he knows how to play the rack and break. But if you've ever watched Roger Griffiths play play nine ball, that was a beautiful thing. I was blessed to know him through Bob Jackson. Uh, through Main Street Billiards in, in, when I was there, mm -hmm. and uh, he taught me some things that were that, that have helped my game immensely. Back now to the action here. Um, uh, looks like Chris is at the table and he's hooked on the one. I guess Chris had a dry break. Warren played safe, and here we are. Chris trying to stop the bleeding, but it's not easy to do when you're. Stuck behind the five. No, no, it's not. And Chris was saying that in the interview you had that that was kind of an issue that he had with the break, whether it was making a ball and getting shape or yeah. just making a yeah. ball, period. It's yeah, it was like that against Dennis, and it's turning out to be that against Warren. And just like that, he's leaving He's leaving Warren with an out. And this is the same well, nightmare. Yeah, that's. it's not the easiest shot being jacked up over no, a ball, but, but you have right. to expect Warren to make this. Warren, look how still he stays. No, I don't even think a hair moved. Yeah, exactly. In fact, I think I think people in the chat room thought it was buffering. <laughs> Ow. Warren is a Good shot on the opportunity for the three nine combo, but he may just play the out because the three does go. Nope, that, he played the three nine and it's now three, four nothing. Wow, four nothing. Chris has a, uh, a big hill to climb here. Warren is playing pretty much perfect pool. Uh, just an update on the uh, other table. Uh, Vilmos is up four to one on Edgy Geronimo. Uh, he's up four to one, and Edgy is at the table, but it looks like he just played a safe. 
and Vilmos is kicking at the three. I'll tell you, a four to one deficit is tough for Edgy to come back on a guy, a guy like Vilmos in this format. Nice break from Warren. He has been breaking well every match I've seen. Well, it's, once again, the haunting words of Chris Robinson. Breaks are working out for them, but not for me. Right. Well, and this tournament has unique break rules because it's not just the three-point break rule. It's also the small box that you're breaking from, yeah. and it's you're, you're racking the nine ball on the spot. Yeah. And the small box is basically a half diamond either side of the center diamond on the table up to, up to the head string. I think Chris might be getting a little bit frustrated too. But he's playing well, he's keeping himself composed. The, the six nine is gonna be an issue on this table. So it looks as though Warren may be playing this four ball to get the angle on the five to come down table and break up the six nine, which is a the optimal way to do it. Yep, yeah, that's a that's a perfect angle if you're trying to break out that six nine. Nice breakout from Warren. Six available yep. to the side pocket. Uh, Warren is going about this with surgical perfection. This is one of those moments where a player like Chris, the break may not be working for him, but I guarantee you he's soaking in every ounce of this. Who's Shady KD? Anybody? Shady KD? Yeah. <laughs> What's this I hear about you telling people to order margaritas? Shady KD, that must be KD. Yeah. Katie Scott now. Katie, it used really? To be, really? It used, wow. to be, it used to be, it used to be right. more margarita Katie. Yeah. But now it's uh, uh, Katie Scott margarita. <laughs> so Warren is now up 5 0. Mm hmm. Warren is on the hill. And after this match, I believe we're going to have the hot seat match, which will be Chad Vilmont versus Dennis Okoyo. Chad has uh, gone through a, a, a number of top players to get to this point. So even though he's playing one of the, 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 the best cash player in the world and one of the best tournament players in the world, it's going to be a good, it, likely to be a good match. Kind of feel bad for Chris right now because this is it's it's exactly what he was discussing with us in the interview. You it know, it was it really was. He hasn't. I don't know. Chris Chris hasn't done a single thing wrong. There hasn't no, really yeah. been a missed uh, yeah exactly missed opportunity. He just hasn't had an opportunity. And Warren has played really to surgical perfection. That was a brilliant bank. You do feel for him a little bit on this because he's he's had such a fantastic tournament. I'll be 
it's a challenge. I mean, the, uh, What's that? Yeah, and again, Warren is finishing up. Uh, you, you'll, you won't find Warren getting running out of shape or anything of that nature. He's always going to fall into line. Shout out to Foch Garcia. We missed him. Watching. Hope he's doing uh, well. Yeah, he's watching right now. He's in the chat room. Love. Fosh plays almost every uh, major event in Vegas, uh, and uh, we, we missed him in the field. Hope he everything is going well. Well, Chris Robinson has uh, been defeated now 6-0. 6-0. I don't think we've seen that yet. No, that uh, that is a uh, that isn't a result more on the Warren Kiamko side than Chris Robinson, because Warren played that match to perfection. He sure did. And and as Chris unfortunately predicted, the break wasn't working for him. Phil, what are you doing here, buddy? I'm here to watch the best players in the world. What do you think I'm doing? <laughs> this is the legendary <laughs> Phil Tatum. <laughs> oh, thank on you, the thank microphone you. Here. It's. Uh, it's better than watching Gunsmoke, I'll tell you that. And, and Gunsmoke's <laughs> my favorite show. So how do you like that? But wait a, wait a second. You were in this tournament. What happened there? You're one of the best. Uh, I, I did what players are not supposed to do. They stayed out Friday night. They drank with their buddies, and they get up, and they uh, didn't feel real good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, some guys can play like that, and I can't. How'd you feel playing and, Mary, and, Mary and, Kaufman earlier? Well, I know you've played her I, before. I've drawn her three time. times in the last five tournaments, and uh, she's beat me 6-5, uh, 6-4, six, six, and this time she uh, beat me 6-1, I think. I don't think she missed the ball. Mary is one of the best women players I know, and uh, uh, I'd rather have played 20 guys than her. Absolutely. She's got so, your number, huh? Oh, she my God. Fierce. She but is I'm, fierce. But, but, but I'm going to get her, though. Okay. I'm going to get her. <laughs> I'm going to get her. And she knows I'll, I'm going to get her. All right. All I'm right. going to try to get her. <laughs> I'll let you believe that, Phil. Checking in with Thanks. Phil Tatum. Thanks. Phil Tatum, always a pleasure to see you here, man. Uh, and uh, with that, actually, I, uh, uh, I want to congratulate Chris Robinson. His first showing here, and what does he get, fifth, first sixth? First showing, fifth, sixth, yes. That's a very good showing. It's not a bad showing. No, especially amongst the players in this field. I mean, you look at where he is, who he's playing. The only two people to beat him were the two highest Fargo-rated players in this tournament, in Dennis Okoya and uh, Warren Kiamko. Not to mention, 22 years old, and he's got the rest of his life ahead of him. Yes. He is uh, a future champion, that's for sure. I will guarantee you that he took. he's going to take a lot away from this one. Yeah, he is. All right. Well, coming up next, we're waiting, right? We're waiting yeah, for we're waiting, winners. We're waiting for a bit. There, uh, once uh, the Vil Vilmos's match, Vilmos and Edgy are done, then we're going to probably have the hot. Then it'll be the hot seat match on table one. Uh, the hot seat match will be between uh, Chad Vilmont and Dennis Okoyo. and then the winner of Edgy and Vilmos will play uh, Warren for third, fourth place. Yes. Meanwhile, Edgy Geronimo wins that game against Vilmos. It's now three to four. Three to four. That tightens up quite a bit. With uh, Edgy breaking. Edgy does have the break. So, uh, you know, it's a chance for him to tie it up. You're watching POV Pool on YouTube. This is Daniel Bush. I'm sitting here with Jack Murray, Las, Ve Las Vegas local favorite. <laughs> pool player. I'm, I'm, pool I'm a promoter. favorite at the bar. He's a favorite at the bar, yeah. The bartenders love him. <laughs> Security hates him. 
He's Jack Murray. <laughs> no. I said the bartenders love him. Security hates him. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Edgy made the ball on the break, so he's uh, pushing out. It's always pleasant when he's drunk around me. <laughs> but how do you even know when he's drunk? Yeah, but how do you even know if he's drunk? That's the thing, right? I, I, I usually it's I'm snoozing a bit. Yeah. Well, they might be starting the uh, hot seat match now. It looks like they just put up the uh, the name hangers for Chad Belmont and Dennis Okoye. 